What is going on everyone? Welcome to the second episode of the walkthrough. And it looks like tier 2 is up. So the pickup... Wow, I just fell in a hole. To pick up right where we left off. We went ahead and... Let me see if I can actually put this together here. Okay, we were just finished tier 1. And we just finished Wake the Past. And now we have finished iteration 1. Now we're on iteration 2. And it looks like we need to head to anchor point 2. So that's already set. And the... Perpet... Perpetuity. <laughs> Go ahead and collect this reward. So now we have more memory fragments upgrade to A class now. And we have memory fragments for the inventory. So we're going to go ahead and actually do that now. This was kind of a surprise. It wasn't really a part of the actual walkthrough, but hey. More inventory space is always welcome. Alright, that's upgraded. Let's look at the next one. Is it for the ship? No, it's actually for our uh, exosuit. Alright, that's all done and over with. Now, I don't know why we have to make more ammunition, but we're going to go ahead and go over to anchor point 2. It looks like for the memories we have 134. Anchor point 2 it is. Do, do I not have any launch fuel? I guess don't. Yeah, it's very little. You're going to find out that... And uses up a lot more launch fuel than the normal mode. Just be aware of that, and I'll see you in Anchor Point 2. What is going on, everyone? Welcome back. We are at Anchor Point 2. Let's go ahead and collect that reward. So we got more memory fragments towards our inventory. And congratulations on making it to Anchor Point 2. Our next goal is to go ahead and find a crash freighter. Let's go ahead and expand our inventory. Awesome. We got all our 48 now for the general. Let's go back in and see if there's any more for technology. Oh, it looks like it's for the ship. Awesome. Now you have those expanded. We're ready to hold just a little bit more in terms of upgrades. So I'm going to get all of this sorted out. At this time, go ahead and get all your stuff sorted out and put your upgrades in. Seeing what items go where. And then go back to your freighter, dump some stuff off. So that way it's just a little bit bigger. And you already know what to deal with. I will see you in that minute. All right, everyone, now we got everything organized. We can go ahead and use our little resonator here to manifest the loop memory. So I don't think we can take off because of launch fuel. It doesn't look that low, but trust me, you're taking about maybe 50% away. Every time you land, it's just it's too much. So let's go ahead and follow the pattern here. Now I did say we're going to look for a crash freighter, but because this opportunity had presented itself a little sooner than later, we can go ahead and get this knocked out of the way, then look for the crash freighter. I'll see you when we get to the memory house, but... Now before you go over to that graveyard, go ahead and try to put your ship down somewhere where it looks like that's a green spot that will more than likely land where it's at. I want that as backup just in case anything goes bad. There's also a cave area here, so if you can't make it one way, you can make it another. Make sure you have ammo. Let's see, we have about 79 of it. Let's go ahead and make a little bit. Okay, I think with the 1,329 is going to be enough for now. Let's see, for over a week, the same out here, the Deathman Whale, my cockpit. I tried to cut the comms, but gummed with blood. Given up trying to sleep, increasingly blurred stars. I thought it a hallucination, but there it was, monumental, the ocean of space. 
I was like nothing. I'm sorry, it was like nothing I've ever. I wanted to. <clears throat> needed to capture it, but before I could react, its great fin flexed. My hull was gone. Man, it, it tore through that. I just needed some water here just for a second. Alright, there's that protocol warning. Let's go ahead and claim that memory. Alright, to crave the stars, congratulations, we got that milestone knocked out and out of the way. Now, I'm just waiting for something to pop out here. If it doesn't, oh, there it is, right there. If you have the scatter blaster, go ahead and go after these. Ooh, like, what is that? That's what I need. Make sure you go after these charges as they will recharge your shield. And we're gonna need the Pugnium after this for another item. So any Pugnium you collect, make sure you keep it, don't sell it. Alright, and we got one more. The Sentinels, you don't really have to worry about them too much as long as you get these and just kind of run around. They have to target you and it takes them a little bit, so you have the advantage. Alright, now that we're on an are we on an infested planet? Mm, yeah, we are on an infested planet. Now the second thing I'm going to need you to do is to put down a base. Oh, now that launch list of fuel. Huh. Yes, when we're at the space station, or if you're ever at the space station, make sure you buy them. Buy as many as you can. Don't sit here and try to make them. And I will see you over at, well, I guess when you put your base down, after you get your base down, then we're going to go look for the crash freighter. I'm sorry I keep pushing the crash freighter behind, it's just that there's easier things coming along, and we're going to look for, it's going to take some time to find the crash freighter. So I'll explain how to do that right after you put your base down. I'll see you then. Hey everyone, welcome back. Picking a few of these things up. I may just leave this here on the edge because it kind of looks cool to leave the uh, ship right on the edge. Now with building a base, you are gonna have to put 15 pizzas down. It doesn't have to be a permanent base for you. It can just be something you just put together. This needs to be 15 pieces, that's all. Excuse me. Now, in the event that you do die, this walkthrough is supposed to prevent that from this, <laughs> from the beginning on after the first time you die. But if you do, this base will actually be here. So the next time you fly to an infested planet where you put down your base at, you just fly to it and boom, the milestone is done. So let's just go ahead and put some things down. It says we can put about 99 of these, so I like to make it look decent. It's totally up to you on what you want to do. May have to terrain manipulate this place. Let's see. I'll see you after the 15 pieces are built. All right, looks like we got our base built, but we're still missing a few pieces. Oh no! I guess we got everything. Congratulations. Yep, so if you're wondering, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Go ahead and put six floors down. As for the top, I believe I used the thin walls, or the thin floors instead of the huge floors. So let's go back to the build menu. So I ended up using the timber floor panels instead of using the small timber panel. I believe for both parts, because they look about the same size, it just looks a little shorter up here. But yeah, you have all 15 in your sides, and you just use the regular timber wall, the big one, in order for you to go all the way around. Just make sure you keep a hold of how many pieces you're using, so that way you don't go overboard. Kind of like I did. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and collect our reward. Actually, we have a bit to collect. Excellent. We have that. We're almost done with iteration 2, by the way. We have one more thing to do. We need to go to the space station. 
and start talking to some of the locals. Alright, let's collect our next one. I believe our inventory is full. So we, gotta make, we need to make a stop by the freighter as well. And cool, we got the Nomad Geo Bay, the Nautilon, and some memory fragments for the Exocraft. If you go on the wrong menu, I apologize. And I believe that's it. That's it. We just need to do this and explore a crashed freighter, like I said earlier. So the easiest part would be just to go to the space station and start talking to everyone. You can go to a space station or a trading outpost if you have an economy scanner. Ooh, worms. And I'll see you at the space station. And welcome back. So if you're wondering where we are, we're on Romstovot, Romstovot Station. <laughs> okay, learn three words to get universal language. Let's go. Oh, we're not. We're in a Viking system, but there is a. Ooh, there are like three Gex. Ooh, there are four Gex here. Wait, no, we're in a Gex system. My mistake. I saw three, three Vikings, and all of a sudden I, I got like excited. All right, friendship symbol. All right, that's one these two over here try not to look at their eyes that's kind of creepy <laughs> all right request I like help and just give me give me a trade symbol all right for trade that's what's up and last but not least let's see request I like help technology symbol Ship. Awesome. We got a three for three there. Excuse me, sir. I'm going to get this guy a gift before we act. Actually, yeah. Go ahead and give him a gift first. If you happen to have one. Also, I have a surprise to show everyone if you were able to get this. Okay, request I like help. And we're going to go for mystery symbol. Alright. For the. It's, oh, it's just the. Right, I think we have a couple more language skills to learn, but I think it's from the Corvax. Let's see, we're still on that, and it's not gonna tell me. I mean, it did earlier. Okay, learn Gek. We did learn Gek. Locating star system with a different alien race. Ugh. It's... You guys are still gonna... Alright. Alright. So, if you do run into this part and you haven't completed the milestone, just head over to the portal. And if you made some stops along the way before you got here, go to space stations. And just kind of get a feel of what's around you. We have more Viking, more Gek, and two pirate systems. So we're kind of at a loss here. But we're going to go ahead and see if we can snag any Corvax here. I didn't see any actually here. But we're going to see if they pop out of somewhere. And if they don't... Oh, one right there. If they don't, that means we have to go to the other space stations and look for more Corvax. Friendship symbol. Okay. That's what's up. That one is visited. I don't think there's another. Nah, there doesn't seem to be another. Let's hop to another system. Worst case scenario, you have to hop to two space stations. We're going back to the very first place. Alright, we're on try number two. I see a Corvax over to the left there. Come on, come on. Got a whole tab to get rid of that screen. Alright, request dialect help. symbol. All right, unknown. Oh, it says learn Viking. I guess we have to get some for Viking as well. We only have one more left for Corvax, I believe. Did I already talk to? Oh, I already talked to this guy. She just saw the visitor sign right under the name. I mean, if anything, we can just go back. Yeah, yeah. Just go to our previous system. If anything, look for another Corvax that you haven't talked to yet. And I'll see you at back at was it Romstaba? Romstaba. Alright, <laughs> everyone, let's go ahead and find our Corvax.
actually our Viking, then the Corvax. We seem to be hitting a lot of Viking systems. Quest dialect help. Aggression symbol. Okay, one more. Hey, okay, traveler. Talk to this. Does he? Oh, it does say prefect. Ug, 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 I'm not even gonna say it. Ug, ga. Ug, ka. <laughs> Alright, we're about to hit number three. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 hold on. Promises to come to my world to make use of my new. Oh! Be careful about this sometimes because it could be something from the actual storyline where someone wants to work at your base. <laughs> Just. Try your best to talk to someone who's kind of walking around and not standing. That was a bit unexpected. Alright, that's three of three. And congratulations, you just completed that milestone. Let's go ahead and collect. A prepackage advanced translator unit, that's what's up, and we have room for that fragment. I'm sorry, not the fragment, the, um, the translator. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this one. Ooh, got some goodies. Got some. Oh, yeah, I totally needed that. What's this? Starship shield? Yes, that is a must. And this is good news because now you can get a little bit more money for scanning. Also, this is the surprise I wanted to tell everyone. This Sentinel boundary map here. So one of the requirements for iteration five is it iteration five or iteration four. Let's go ahead and nail nail that in the bud. Or nip that in the bud, I'm sorry. Let's see, cluster horde, no not that. Yes, eliminate sentinels and shut down a planet. Shut down a planet's sentinel forces. Now, in Iteration 4, you're going to have to do this. The quickest way is for you to find a sentinel nest location map. I'm sorry, other menu. Which is this one right here. As soon as you ha have this boundary map, save it, put it away. Make sure you don't die. <laughs> as long as you have this, you can pop it out later on a safe planet. It'll tell you where exactly it is. You're going to want to do the 20 count of sentinels first. And then we'll get into more detail about that later on. But make sure if you don't have this at all, you'll still get one after you kill at least five waves of sentinels. That means you're going to have to face the walker, the mech, along with the dog, and the other drones, the spawner, and the healer. Now you're... You're probably asking how did I get that is because of our little encounter with the four sentinels in which iteration it was iteration two I believe and it was the herd heard the call of the damned with this one you get the four sentinels you kill the four sentinels and you get what's called salvage glass when you have that salvage glass you can extract it and it RNGs you specific items this time it gave me a boundary map and it ended up giving me a forbidden module, which is this thing right here that kind of supports my shielding. So we are definitely going to go back to the freighter. Ooh, and this translator here can go there along with the glove. If you collect more of them, then you can start actually looking at what the aliens are trying to tell you as soon as you start learning the language a little bit more. Let's go ahead and sell some things while we're here. we may have to buy a planetary chart. So no, no, no. We're gonna keep the, the ancestral memory. Let's go ahead and see. Um, go ahead and sell what's in your inventory that you don't need and I will see you over at the freighter. Hey everyone, welcome back. <clears throat> so after we do the crash freighter, we should be heading over to iteration three, but we are going to get some th other things done early. We have to go to a planet that's called Mapan 8. 
Let's see, where did it go? We have to go to a system called Sebrek Elowin. And on this, we're going to have to go to Mapan 8. On Mapan 8, there's Storm Crystals. So we're going to head there and get that. Pretty soon, we need to go to another spot. Probably this one or some other place, maybe Enact. So generally, go back. we need to go back to Anchor Point 1 and kind of collect on these things. We can easily get the Whispering Eggs on the Frozen Planet here, and we can get our... Storm Crystals on this Aquid Planet here. The Blizzards are pretty deadly, so once you go there, land the spot, kind of look around to see where the Storm Crystals are first, and then go ahead and attack. But we'll be doing that later on. The reason why we're up here is to store all of our stuff. Now, since we have a ton of stuff to put away, we don't need this right now. We do need the Resonator. We don't need the ExoCraft stuff right now. We also... What else don't we need? We don't need the Minotaur right now. Because with the Minotaur, you're going to want the upgrades and the AI, so that way it kind of helps you out in battle. The Memory Imprints, keep those on your person. I really don't like to give those away, but I think one is on the ship, and then one is in my inventory here. Uh, these, on the other hand... Uh, mm, if they're full, put them away. If they're not full, just leave it. But now you're, you're kind of thinking, well, Azeroth, what if you need it? Then, like, nah, you don't need it. Because that, then that's taking space. And if you really do need it, just call your freighter. Go right back up to it. Go get what you need and then come back down. Remember that, of course, we have all this space now, but we want to make sure we're upgrading ourselves and getting ready for that. 20 sentinel battle even though we just took out four remember it's only 16 now it's not going to be um 20 anymore because we already took out four and i believe that's it. i mean even the cobalt we're not going to really need the cobalt anymore and i'm going to have to go ahead and reorganize this gamma route we don't need i still need this but we don't need the multi-tool expansion anymore not unless we're going to upgrade to another class and i kind of doubt that so we're not going to be needing that anymore as well from what we're doing. We keep the Pugnium. Hmm. I'm going to say we're not going to need it now, but we will need it later. So put that in the storage and you're, you're good to go. Go ahead and take your first one and put it right next to it. There's nothing really special that's going to happen if you put this right next to it. It's just that it's there and more likely... They're just quick transfer, they're tradable items, but we I don't necessarily know what they're going to be used for, and if they're not used for anything by iteration 5, then more than likely we'll just go ahead and sell them. But for now, just go ahead and hold on to them. Hold on to everything that's on your person. Also, if you're wondering, you should have about 235,800 uh, 235, units and 272 nanites roughly if you have any more than that good on you if you don't have any more than that because you spent it on something else well that money can still be earned pretty quickly all right now the crash freighter let's go ahead and do that first before we do anything and there's a special item we're gonna need and it's called navigational data if we don't have any navigational data on our person then that means we have to go down to a planet. Look for any habitable outpost, anything. And start collecting navigation data there. There are some in the space station on the table if you'd like to take it. That would make it more that would make it a little more convenient, but if you just go down to the planet. More than likely you're gonna find what you're looking for. All you have to do is scan. And this may take a while, so I will see you at the next time we land. Welcome back everyone. We found our third set, but we found something pretty cool instead. This is also one of the requirements we need, but kind of look what's here. Whispering eggs. Now, if you do not have your shielding up to where it needs to be, let's see, no, that's the ship. What I mean is looking at this here. 
along with our core health and shielding we're at that uh, i'm sorry that's at 29 percent 33 percent we have another one for shield strength that's about 17 percent add that on to our 29 percent we're looking at 46 percent and let me know if i'm wrong in the comments about that and then this one has our shield strength 13 percent more so go up 10 more i believe that is 56 and the three is about 59 so about half so looking at it in terms of that aspect, oh, if you're wondering where the navigational data at, is at, it's in my ship. So we're going to be very careful, and we're going to keep a clear distance away from the actual hordes when they come out. Remember, do this one at a time. There's about eight we need to pick up if you didn't pick any up at the last frozen place we're at. So what's nice about this is we can go in through the front door, go inside, and they won't bother us. We can keep doing this every single time. So if you want to get close to the wall here, do it in three, two, one. Oh, okay. Obviously, you need to make sure your mining beam is on. Ready? One, two, three. Grab it and go. Grab it. Go, go, go. And we're going to be doing this a few times. I will see you after the tenth one is found. Ah! All right, everyone. Looks like we got our last one, our last ten. Woo! That was a bit rough. Just using your mining tool most of the time to get some of them away. They are going to spit at you, so make sure you're careful with that. We're about to freeze to death. Remember, we picked a whole bunch of these up at the space station. So now all we have to do is just kind of, you know, get out of here. <laughs> Back to our ship safely. We'll go ahead and collect the reward once we're in the ship. They can't really mess with us there. remember if you happen to find one of these by chance don't pass it up go ahead and collect that 10 now we can get back into our little investigation and finding a crash freighter welcome back everyone so in order for you to get this crash freighter you can actually go back to the I'm sorry it is that planet but the Roland desk system which is the starter system that you begin at and in Menzis Utsu you're going to be looking for a specific base I'm sorry can we still find it on here in the chart I don't think we can oh there it is right there BBA0 the perfect start crash freight you're going to look for that and then you'll find your crash freighter I believe you just have to go up here and select E make sure your network for multiplayer is off. Make sure you disable that. Then you're going to read the log. Life goes on day after day, delivering after. I hope to go home soon. The life of a is not for the one like me. Multiple sentinel energy signatures detected, requiring immediate. Dropping out of warp. There, There's the sentinels. What are they doing? Finding each other. The sentinel ships are engaging each other, ignoring us for now. Sentinels appear to have departed their distress signal nearby. Broadcasting 16 on repeat. I'm going to take a look. And there you go. We got your file and giant milestone already done. And I believe that's it for iteration 2. Congratulations. But also in this episode, we're going to go after iteration 3 get that finished up because there's only a few more things and it's very very short go ahead and collect your prize let's see iteration 2 we got this one done let's go ahead and collect that memory fragments to armaments which we're definitely going to need for iteration 4 when the time comes an infra knife module I believe that's for the ship Tis for the ship. Ooh, we happen to have an infra knife on us. Awesome. And this one, scatter blaster module. Yes. We need an upgrade for that as well. Let's see, there's one more. I'm gonna go ahead and get your second set, which is your temporal starship trail. Alright, let's go ahead and go to Mapan 8. I will see you there. Alright, so you're towards the portal. 
here's where we need to go. Keep in mind, we still need to go to Old Seaweed Prime. Because that is where our next point takes off to get us closer to Anchor Point 3. But the place we're actually going to is here, Celebrick. I'll see you there. Alright, so I'm going to fly over to Mapan 8. And our objective in this specific point is to collect storm crystals. We need five of them. Now, by chance, if you were to get some by pumping a Geo, I'm sorry, by extracting a Geo, then more than likely it's not going to count. It won't count for some weird reason. You physically have to pick them up. No, that's cloudy. Let's see what we're looking for. Is that it? Yes, it is. That's it right there. A moon right near the space station. So we're going ahead and head there. It is fungal and a bit hot there. So. Actually, no, not hot. Is it hot? We're going to find out. Since it's fungal, I believe it's going to be hot. I know, I just did this not too long ago, and I just can't really remember. Alright, so when there's an extreme storm, we're going to go ahead and land in a spot where we think we're going to see a storm crystal at. You may have to hang out for a little bit right before the storm occurs, and then you should be able to find what you're looking for. Oh, right there. There is a storm going, and we can see our first one. Let's hurry up and land. Now, with this one, take a look around. Make sure you find... Ooh, that was close. Make sure you find these things right here. If you need to, go ahead and dig a hole. To find any more around you. Looks like the extreme storm is still going on, but it sounds like it's dying down. I hope not. Go ahead and find your five, and I'll see you then. Oh, one more thought. You can find them by just putting up your scanner. If you see one that's close by, go ahead and go straight to it. Sometimes there'll be one, sometimes there'll be two, and it looks like, wow, that is a big cluster over there, so we need to get there fast. Ooh, it looks like there's four here. Oh my, oh, uh, and we're done. We are done, it is that quick, everyone. And then you are gonna find them in clusters like that, and sometimes you won't, sometimes you'll find them in clusters to two, clusters to four. Just make sure you know how far away you are from your ship, because if you don't have that specific, if you can see to the lower right there, that upgrade module, then more than likely you're gonna be doing this underground. So I'm not really hating life right now, but ooh, wow, that is big. I hope you're not a predator. All right, we're back on the ship. Go ahead and collect your prize. Congratulations, we got our memory fragments for the exosuit and two other memory fragments as well. Got a little bit of lightning going on. It is a serious storm outside. All right, so we have more upgrade modules. That kind of adds on to what we already have. And we finally got something for the snow. We are beginning to notice that we are running out of room. But don't worry about it. Remember, if there's anything you don't need, go ahead and put that away in your freighter. This we're going to be able to sell. These we're going to be able to turn into nanites. Let's see, is there anything else that I missed? No, no, that's it. We just need to head to the third anchor point. Once we've hit the third anchor point, we're going to fill the first thirst, which means we're going to use our... Um, what you call it, memory resonator to open this up, and then some of your own memory fragment in which we're just going to have to build something, and that's it. We're done with iteration 2 and iteration 3. So first things first, we need to go back to rendezvous point 2. Sorry, rendezvous point 2. What I meant was anchor point 2.
and I will see you at anchor point three. Hey everyone, welcome to the approximate point. I would recommend, actually, wait, do, I don't think I have any pellets on me, do I? If you do have pellets, go ahead and, there, now we have pellets. Go ahead and get any of the beetles that are here in order for you to fly where you need to go. Let's see, we're going in the right direction. I saw some beetles over the, the cliff, but I don't see any in the area, so I guess I'll see you over by the anchor point. Alright everyone, welcome back to anchor point 3. This beetle is massive. Where did they go? Uh, oh, there it is right there. Yeah, I think it's massive. When I was sitting on it, it's so much bigger than me. It's like a leviathan or something. I don't know about that. Let's go ahead and use this. All right, so we got what we needed. We're gonna see how far away it actually is. Cause my ship, oh, well, it's a thousand away. Alright, where, where's the beetle at? So, about Starship launch fuel, don't buy it. You get about five of them, that's 1.2 mil, so don't even bother. You're better off just making it yourself. So, I will see you back at the... If I can actually find the point. Yeah, I'll go ahead and see you at the memory hotspot. Alright, you guys, welcome back. I went ahead and rode my beetle all the way over here. So let's go ahead and get this done and over with. Have I ever seen their hulking forms left on the sun? I knew that I must capture, must be mine. Everything was prepared, the ambush engine faster than I thought possible, as though it were I would fly even before I. A great tentacle hug. Pressing to the bone, and I are now fused. Sorry about the little bit of reading, I got caught in mouth. Hold on just a second. And that is it for Obsession. Congratulations. Alright, so from this point, all you need to do is craft the memory fragment. Let's go ahead and get in the cave. Alright, so now we're out of the storm. Make sure you're not near any dangerous flora. We're just going to find the spot to stand and just kind of hang out for a bit. So in order to make the... What is it? Oh, it hasn't been given to us yet because we haven't collected it. Go ahead and collect your rewards. So we need wiring loom, we need silver. So we have pugnium, we have silver. We just need two things of wiring loom and we're Congrats on that. So we now we have all three imprints. Excuse me, imprints. And where did it go? Do we actually oh we actually do have it now. Okay, cool. And that's all we need. If you saw back on the freighter, we do have enough pugnium to make this. I believe we have enough silver as well, if I can see the starship. Hmm. Where? Right there. Yeah, we have enough silver. All we need is two things of wiring loom, which we have enough units for. So, we're good to go on that front. Let's go ahead and collect the next reward. There's right there. Alright, more memory fragments for the exocrafts and more for inventory. That's what's up. Alright, now it just goes into our technology slot. I think it just maxed it out. Oh, almost. It just needed one more. But that's that's excellent news, actually. So, now, I believe the ship... How far away is the ship? 
Well, once I go ahead and find my ship, I will meet you over at the freighter so we can actually not the freighter, the space station, then the freighter. So we can build this thing and then we're done with iteration three and we'll prepare for iteration four. All right, let's go ahead and start picking up our wiring loom. over to the train terminal make sure you have enough units to buy this if you're following this walkthrough exactly you should have 319,404 units just head down a little bit and wiring them gonna purchase two so lucky we had enough just for that and we're heading over to the freighter because that's where we left the plug in storage unit. Grab that. And then we can go ahead and do this. And you get a reward when you extract it yourself. You package personal refinery unit. Hey, that's what's up. Now we can refine on the go. Alright, and congratulations. You got that milestone done and over with. And I believe that is it. Iteration 3. Congratulations. Go ahead and collect the reward. And a suspicious packet of goods. You can go ahead and sell that too and make some pretty good. I think it's units, not nanites. Alright, and I believe that is good for that. Going back and collecting our rewards. Congratulations on passing Iteration 3. Next episode, we're going to have Iteration 4. We're going to get geared up. We're going to go ahead and take on the Sentinels. If you don't have a sen Sentinel boundary map already, I will be marking where this specific Sentinel nest location is at. But with a save beacon. Uh, this is Azeroth. Be sure to like and subscribe. That notification bell on the way out. And I will see you in the next episode.